Welcome guys and gals to first episode of our release rundown. This week uh, we'll be going through our motive collection for spring summer 22 and uh, this is a segment of where we'll kind of take a different perspective. Obviously we write a lot, photograph a lot, um, but just give a, a different angle on these brands, makers, and the specific pieces themselves. Like I said, this week we're doing uh, Motive. It is designed by Daniel Gu and uh, headed up by Samuel Wei. Samuel is one of the foremost experts of heritage in the business and uh, a friend as well. And Daniel is the designer that Samuel brought in um, that really has an amazing perspective on design, production, tailoring, um, and is a joy to work with. Uh, each collection with Motive is completely exclusive to us, A, and design and collaboration around a certain theme. And Spring Summer 22 is kind of an IV prep meets workwear as kind of a backbone, uh, really communicated through the palette, um, some of the fabrications and compositions used like linens and twills. As a baseline, one thing you should know with Motive is it really is a tailoring workshop and it's one roof from design studio to production um, and there's really nothing like that, especially in heritage these days at a tailoring level that is really working with some outstandingly thick, uh, dense and kind of crazy fabrics um, and putting those production standards into garments like this, uh, which is really evident once you put one of these pieces on um, everything is flat felled seamed and lined and trimmed properly uh, and impeccable and, and in terms of construction. So one of the questions that we get asked quite commonly or um, when we're working with customers is how do you style a motive piece? Because it seems like there's so much continuity in the collections themselves and kind of this themes in this industrial era kind of pushed forward that you kind of have to be dressed head to toe in motive. And uh, if you know anything about Division Road, we're all about like a single uniform aesthetic where each piece can kind of be matched with other pieces and allows you to be creative within your own style profile. So we're not big into quote unquote costuming um, in terms of from the heritage niche or styling or any of that stuff. Um, so no, you do not need to be dressed as a turn of the century factory worker in order to wear motive. Um, all of these pieces work amazingly well with, with everything else that we carry, frankly. Um, so from skinny denim to, you know, wide leg trousers, uh, in terms of bottoms or sneakers, if you're into that kind of thing or um you know highly pinked and brogued boots um the stuff works and it really is designed with a kind of casual first approach um which allows you to kind of like really elevate more casual ensembles um rather than kind of having to dress full tailoring um from head to toe on this so it's not as style profile as it looks and they really are like pick up a piece, pick up multiple pieces, but that you, things that you can infuse with your wardrobe to make really every ensemble um, kind of elevated and inspired. One of the things that we commonly do, even though I'm a little bit motived up today, is um, we'll put, you know, a Gitman under, under these pieces or like a DBF sweater um, we'll commonly wear with denim um, and, and even like things as casual as our monkey boots and, and things like that. So um, it really 
You can be classic with your styling inspiration, a little bit more directional if you're kind of looking for more of an oversized, drapey fit, um, or you can be super tailored. And I think a lot of our clients who have experienced motive and, and have started building quite a collection of the pieces because they are quite collectible, um, are finding that they just kind of work with everything, which is what makes them excellent. So the first thing you should know about our collaborations with Motive is Division Road has essentially uh, an exclusive body marker on everything. So at a baseline and the most simplest explanation is it's a little bit more tailored, a little bit longer in the body and sleeves. And you'll still get that a little bit drapey aesthetic, but a little bit more in line with kind of the style profiles that we deal with over uh, in the States and, and in Europe. So um, a perfect example is the Shipyard, which uh, obviously is a little bit longer in the body than theirs, um, longer in the sleeves, as I said, but we also adjust everything in terms of the body itself, brought it in a little bit, um, make the pleating and um, back cinching of this piece a little bit more functional to that. One thing I will uh, talk about on this is this amazing Spence Bryson fabric, um, which is a Irish linen tailor and suiting grade. Um, it only weighs out at eight ounces, but has just this amazing structure to it. Yeah, this is a perfect example of, of motives detailing and just the integration of what they do, where you've got the chest pockets uh, that are cleanly done with the front pleating um, and these kind of bellows, gusseted, uh, anatomical lower hand pockets, but super clean um, to the back of the piece, pleated with the back cinch, but everything just falls amazingly well. Most patterns, pretty much all patterns, are developed really in 2D these days, um, kind of technical sketches, so to speak. Couture houses, which, you know, fashion houses, but really at the couture level, um, all of that took place on body. So it'd go from sketch to draping and what they call basting on body. And then you would develop uh, a garment and how it draped and how it fit and then develop pattern pieces from that. Well, that's how Daniel designs. Everything is articulated um, because it's been developed on the body and really is designed as a 3D piece. And this is a perfect example with the French shooting jacket uh, that's based off of kind of like an outdoor hunting piece, um, you know, around the 30s or 40s and kind of turned into really quite a modern um, garment. But all of this is anatomical and articulated. So there is no side seam, so to speak. The front body goes into the sleeve that goes into the back body. You get this really articulated and anatomical and you can see it doesn't lay flat. And some of this is well communicated from the interior of the garment. Um, Normally, a pattern like this would be maybe six to eight pieces. This thing's more like 16 to 18 pieces. Um, this is why this piece looks interesting online, but then really relates on body. Whether you have long arms or short arms, you know, this cuff falls perfectly. Um, the elbow patches are well articulated. Um, even the pockets that kind of perfectly match the other proportions, uh, all of this is because of that basting, designing on body, taking those pattern pieces, developing it into a pattern that can be cut and sewn. Um, but again, like pretty much nothing straight. Uh, so that's how it fits in order to relate to you or I. Another reason we work with Motive, and we do this with 
many of our brands, um, but to the depth and level that uh, Daniel and I are able to do completely new developments is it exceeds kind of the capabilities or maybe interest from some others. But uh, we're actually taking some of my archive pieces as, as well as his and creating completely new garments. Uh, and a perfect example of this is our dress hunt vest that I am wearing currently that is based off of a vintage vest that I had um, and just love the, the fit and the detailing. And one of the things the vintage piece had was a back panel that had been replaced with another fabric clearly over uh, some period of time. Um, and probably originally it was satin, but it got replaced with this cool uh, canvas material um, that was probably dead stock or something like that at the time. Um, so we've kind of recreated that, but all of our dress hunts have a specialty camo uh, canvas or twill um, that we source. So this is the U.S. Armed Forces chocolate chip kind of desert a la 1970s and 80s is when this was debuted, but we've done the, the Belgium Jigsaw and the Czechoslovakian Rain Camo. So kind of like a little bit uh, abstract references on the camouflage rather than a typical pattern, um, which we're all about abstractions and, and anomalies with, with motive. Um, but this piece in terms of how it fits as, as tailoring or even a more casual um, ensemble is just fantastic. And kind of bringing the vest back in menswear with this garment um, and just really wanted to see it done as, as a wardrobe addition. Again, because a good vest is super hard to find. And um, yeah, we kind of recreated a lot of the details we loved about the original but then did it in kind of the motive division road way and um, is a great thing to work with with motive that way. Another and maybe one of the most crucial reasons we work with motive and as you know that we kind of have like uh, a no China policy in the goods that we carry yet motive is the exception that kind of proves the rule is that Taylor trained pattern makers, which there is a big distinction between pattern makers and cut and sewers um, in terms of skill level, but pattern makers that are actually doing the production there in Beijing, um, many of them trained at, in Savile Row, uh, and how that gets translated into everything about the garment. And a perfect example of that is our French fence hunt vest and we do these kind of or have done uh, up to current date only in the Fox Brothers covert cloth wool which um, is amazing stuff which we can get into a little bit later but everything about this it seems like oh it's a it's a gilet style um, or you know kind of outer wear mid weight vest and um you know it, it looks great but in terms of how all of this is put together from the storm placket being perfectly notched at the collar um to you know the trim pieces that are uh equa or articulated distance um but the craftsmanship is just uh, bar none the best you'll see out there because of their workshop capabilities. Uh, another thing with Motive is each hardware piece and trim um, is really custom to them. So these cast metal burnished buttons are exclusive to Motive. Um, even this like vintage finishing on the zipper, that's all done for them custom. Um, so every piece is just like crazy custom, um, but how this feather whale corduroy liner is done and perfectly seamed, uh, they either, 
uh, flat fell or tailor tape everything and um, how that just comes across the piece even in the diagonal quilted uh, stitching and how those match up and are done um, perfectly really shows uh, the mode of production standards even into this back waist cinch which is one of the favorite things about this piece is how adaptable it makes it so you know I kind of had this like cinched up for maybe over an iron heart or like a Gitman flannel or something like that um, but then you can kind of um, let it out uh, a bit to like the last uh, hole so that it'll go over like a DN or an Anderson or a really like heavyweight sweater that's also layered over a button down or a long sleeve tee. Um, so this, this piece is amazingly adaptable, but how this is all like reverse seamed and, and just impeccably put together is what makes Motive um, really one of our favorite brands to work with. So to stay tuned for everything that relates to Division Road uh, through our kind of our most important channel is the newsletter slash bulletin. You can sign up bottom of each web page. It says follow the journey, plug in your email. We don't spam, um, but that will uh, give you the full bulletin upon release every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern, plus any of these kind of event and calendar updates that we're doing. Got a lot of cool things um, planned, but the, the event with Motive probably in 2023 will be uh, another made to order and a kind of designer residency with Daniel. You'll get to meet him in person and some of the other team members and will be just a great damn time.